Now, after nearly a decade, the UAP men's football crown is back in Moraita. Now, joining us tonight are the champs themselves, Rookie of the Year, Carl Absalon, Jet Fabregas, and Jeremy Darapan. Welcome to the game, the FEU men's football team. Congratulations on the championship. Congrats, guys. Even Thank though you. you're not going to win it. It's okay. On the way to the championship, grabe. again, part of the uh, very, very good treble here for FEU. Champions of women, champions of men's, and champions of juniors. Once again, wow. congratulations to you and the entire program. Uh, Jeremy, I want to start with you first. Because first championship, mo, uh, two already sa juniors level in, in your high school days. But you only played one game because you injured ka sa first game against UST. Una -una, how did it feel to see your teammates mo come away with the championship and a lot of it, a lot of the goals were dedicated to you. I saw the other dedication dedicated to your other goals. Well, um, to be honest, medyo, may parang separation yung mixed feeling, somewhat mixed feeling. Kasi, uh, nanalo kami pero hindi ako nakalaro. Pero yun nga, still proud of the team kasi every step, at least binigay na nila yung best nila and pinakita nila na kahit wala ako, dinedicate nila yung, yung game, each game for Kit and para sa akin. So, saya pa rin ako. Well, of course, uh, what a season for you guys. Ikaw naman, Jet, you're the goalkeeper uh, for this team. And in terms of, you know, being a champion, eight-year title drought, first time again in eight years. Jet, what was the feeling, emotions, once you guys uh, won that championship right away uh, here this season? First of all, it's very nice because in almost eight years, po, or in the pandemic, po, sa pandemic there, po, it's hard to cope up sa, sa mga seniors namin na well, experience po, like mm -hmm. Jeremy po. po. So, nandun po yung excitement namin sa paglalaro din. Masaya po, kasi napukuha namin yung championship po, as a team. Alam mo, sinasabi nila that keepers have to be crazy eh. A different breed <laughs> yung mga goalkeepers. Mm -hmm. And ito, you're coming into a situation wherein, okay, you're trying to catch up to mga, sa mga veterans mo. Uh, how did they help you? So, confidence, confidence level-wise, to make sure na okay ka buong season. Uh, they always push me po sa ano po sa limits ko na kailangan ko pong magawa to to help the team po so lahat naman po ng seniors is pinupush ako yung sa confidence ko to be mm -hmm. better po and of course uh, kanina I mentioned nga ni Jeremy that the goals and the games are dedicated to you and of course yung uh, kapatid mo and uh, si Keith and obviously a lot of people do know the story that uh, he sadly passed away and uh, and I was not be able to be part of yung triumph yung ngayon Pero ano yung feeling knowing that, first of all, Rookie of the Year ka, congratulations on that. But ano yung feeling na every game that you went out, dala niya yung jersey niya uh, sa starting lineup. And of course, how did it feel knowing that, okay, nag-champion ka, first time try? Uh, sa akin po, uh, sobrang siya ako po kasi nakuha po namin yung champion, then rookie pa lang po ako, tapos dedicated po talaga namin kay Kuya yung champion. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung preparation po namin, grabe, grabe po yung experience. And of course, uh, you come from a football family then, of course, uh, as Pao mentioned, uh, you have a sister also playing for UST. Um, kamusta naman yun? You, you, you're all a football family. You guys celebrated this, of course. How is that at home? Sa totoo lang po eh, si Kuya Kit po talaga yung yung first na naglaro sa amin ng football bago po kami. Kasi siya yung una na tumakas pa sa para lang, para lang po maglaro ng football. Mm -hmm. Then yun po, yung pumasok na po siya sa FEU, like, ako po, gusto po siya kalabanin. Pero, ano po, pin, uh, pinatry out po ako ng papa ko dun, tapos tinulungan naman po ako makapasok ni Kuya. Hanggang sa naging teammate po kami for one year sa UAP. Mm -hmm. yep. And of course, uh, again, for those who for those who've seen FEU line up right before each and every match, uh, dala nila ng jersey ng Kuya Kit, no? And uh, of course, very emotional yung season na to for very many reasons. And uh, again, Jeremy, I know you weren't part of uh, most of the games, pero behind the scenes, how did you keep everything, help keep everything together? Kasi, again, you could go left and right kapag uh, emotions yung pinag-uusapan eh, pero how did you keep everyone focused? Um, so mostly, galing sa like yung background like rookie most of us are rookies apat lang yung seniors na natira so super hirap i-explain sa kanila na yung UAP sobrang tagal na season so you have to be strong mentally and physically mm -hmm. sobrang laking factor noon so during ng mga first game namin ang ganda ng performance pero at some point patapos ng ng season second round especially medyo nag-drop kami 
natalo, ganyan, sunod-sunod. So, naka-affect sa kanila. So, as a senior, gusto ko yung makip nila, mag-push nila yung sarili and ma-overcome nila yung, yung situation na meron kami na kahit draw, loss yung nakuha namin, mabaliktad namin. So, yun lang, constant reminder lang sa mga rookies namin na kaya to, yung situation na to, kailangan malabasan. Like, it's normal, it's natural. Kailangan lang talaga namin mag-dig deep and gawin yung best every game dahil kailangan namin i-dedicate and makuha yung championship for kit. And grabe din yung development mo, no? As, you, as being one of the young guys the past season, then the next season, one of yeah. the leaders right away uh, for this team. And ikaw naman, Jet, of course, um, you know, the challenges all throughout the season. It wasn't an easy road going to the championship. Yeah. You guys finished third in the elimination round. You had to defeat La Paus Lasal and then defeat Ateneo in the finals. Ano yung mga naging challenges nyo as a team na, you know, hindi nakikita ng fans yun na pinagdaanan nyo? to overcome and win this championship? Uh, yung mga challenges po as a team is yung mga during trainings, uh, yung iba pong mga players is na-injury po. So, mm -hmm. nahihirapan din po mag-adjust yung mga ibang players sa, sa team na maglalaro po for us. Tapos, yung mga individual battles po namin, mm -hmm. like, yung mga sa about sa confidence po, how we play in the pitch po. Yeah. And mm -hmm. how did you, oh, ano yun, how did you address that? Especially confidence as an athlete, medyo naiintindihan ko yun. A long season, medyo mm -hmm. kailangan you have to ride the wave sometimes. Yeah. Yes po. Uh, dun po sa question ko is about mental po. Mm. Mental strength po yung kailangan po talaga. As a player po, as a team din po. Mm. So dun po mapasok yung mga pressure po. So kailangan po na malagpasan po namin yung as a team din. And of course, uh, Carl, you talk about yung Rookie of the Year campaign yeah. mo. And I, I know everyone's talking about that, okay, UAP, it's a different beast. Mm. Iba yung experience, iba yung pressure nun. Okay. Parang, ikaw parang hindi ka na-pressure. Bakit? <laughs> hindi. Hindi naman po. Uh, hindi ko rin po nga expect na ako po yung magiging rookie of the year po. Eh. Kasi mm -hmm. halos lahat naman po kami rookie. Mm -hmm. Tapos binigay naman po namin yung best na yung best namin na para makapasok sa finals at makuha yung champion. Pero unexpected po ako rin po yung naging rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, with that rookie of that year, the year campaign in the bag right now, Ano yung reaction ng pamilya mo when you won the individual award? When nag-champion kayo? Tapos, syempre, hawak-hawak mo yung uh, jersey ng kapatid mo sa mga pictures na kita namin kanina. So, ano yung reaction ng pamilya niyo when that final was so funny? Uh, sobrang saya po. Kahit di po sila nanood, nasa province po sila, sobrang saya daw po nila. Then, nag-celebrate din po sila after ng laro namin. Like, mm -hmm. nag-dinner sila ng family ko po kasi mm -hmm. Yung nga po, nakuha ko po yung Rookie of the Year, champion, then para po talaga kay Kuya yung, yung champion na yun. So, pransiya po nila po. The beauty of sports right there. And mm. of course, uh, Jeremy, lastly, um, kayo ni Carl, actually, nanggaling kayo sa juniors program ng FEU and now you're in the seniors team. The women's won it and what a program this FEU football FEU's team. terrifying. Yeah, right? As, 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 Las as uh, Lasalle knows, that's for sure. But Jeremy, what makes FEU a great program in terms of football? Ano yeah. yung mga, you know, how's your culture like? Um, well, nung, at first, hindi maganda yung culture. Medyo mm. ano pa dahil mga, mga players, iba-iba yung personality, yeah. especially right. yung mga galing sa province. Pero yung maganda lang siguro sa culture namin is in-embody namin yung word na sama-sama. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, before be, be brave, pero mm -hmm. in-embody namin yung sama-sama na kahit saan lugar pa sila ganyan, Regardless sa identity, ginagawa namin sa family, walang left out, walang mag-isa lang, ganyan. So, kung homesick or parang mahiyain, tinatry namin iisama sa family talaga. Tapos i-push namin sila sa mga limits nila sa school na yan, in terms of training. Ganyan. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Absalo, Jet Fabregas, and Jeremy Darapan of the FEU Tamarouse Men's Football Team. Congratulations on the championship. Thank Who you, knows? You. This could be the start of a dynasty. Of course. Congrats oh once again. start the dynasty. Yes. To, start <laughs> but guys, again, congratulations. We can't wait to see you again soon. Thank, Thank you for you. the time, guys.